You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Marine. And we got some stuff to actually talk about in our coming attractions episode. I'm going to let you know what we're doing next week. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here so we can record another episode. Hell right yeah. Away. I'm glad you got something to talk about because I haven't seen the news. I don't know yeah. what the fuck's going on out there. We are live on Twitch if you are down with that sort of thing. Now, that's a little too late if you're listening to this in our podcast form. It's too late. We're currently it's not live late, on Twitch. Man. But if you're on Twitch, you heard me say that we're live on Twitch. And now you're like, oh, wow, I'm not I, dreaming this. I gotta get there. Yeah. So. <gasps> Twitch, Twitch. Yeah. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, uh, Jeff Bridges announced he has oh, lymphoma. Yes. What exactly is lymphoma? It's a form of cancer. Uh, uh, is it your lymph nodes or something? I think so. And sound, Dude. sounds good. Uh, but. He's got a, uh, apparently he's got a pretty good prognosis and he's the most chill motherfucker in the world. So even if it was terminal, which by the way, Rush Limbaugh does have terminal cancer. Uh, he announced that it's lung cancer and I'm not allowed to share my feelings on that. I just can't, I won't share my feelings. Um, it's not nice to wish bad upon other people. I, well, but I didn't wish it, and or it's already to happened. to say you who we he waha. I said none of those things. Like when everybody was like, best wishes, Trump. Yeah. I hope you get better. Yeah. You can actually see them breaking somehow. They typed it <laughs> in, like, in brackets, like, a, you know? Yeah. I... All the best of the world. Look, I, I, I definitely don't, like, for real, don't Lord wish Lord death Lord. on anybody, but they were Is showing... He a smoker? I have probably, who knows? I know he does more fucking Oxycontin than, like, half. Like, the whole, the opioid crisis would, like, Stars go down to one... ends with Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, which guy, it's funny because he's one of these people that's <laughs> always like on top of his soapbox, you know. You did that, you did that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Well, and it, I saw a video, uh, so somebody released video was him making fun of uh, Michael J. Fox, and he's like, Oh, he's just exaggerating, and he starts like shaking around. I'm like, Oh, so karma's real then, eh? <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah, because he's oh, yeah, he doesn't even have a disease, he's just like making he's, it up, he's faking he was, it. He didn't want to be in movies anymore, so I know, but what, anyways, he's a dickhead and. and He's probably, even more than Fox News or anywhere else, he's probably, like, the number one place the Trumpers get there. Hey, and Alex Jones has been, like, booted off. Well, Alex for Jones... For no reason at all. He's the only truth teller in the whole nation. It's his superpowers, telling the truth and selling you vitamins that don't work. <laughs> yeah, like, um, <laughs> but, anyways, all that aside, I didn't want to... We, we don't need to get into yeah, that. Yeah, what the hell? A um, little bit of Marvel stuff to talk about. A lot of this is still in rumor mode, not confirmed, whatever. But uh, the first thing was that Spider-Man uh, confirmed, or they said uh, that they've cast their Miles Morales, like live action Miles Morales. Okay, cool. So the rumor is that that's going to be a part of Spider-Man 3 as part of, because now we're getting into Secret Wars and we're getting into multiverse land. Yeah. Like, because that's what all of this is we're going, so they're saying... Spider-Man hasn't had enough adventures to then bring in Miles Morales yet. Well, I think they're looking in... You know? Well, I think what's happening is <laughs> that I think they, they can do Miles Morales without all the, the Sony craziness. Right. I think. Um, I like Miles Morales. He's mm -hmm. coming out with a game, too. Yep. Miles Morales. Yeah. It's just my. It's not. He's not yeah. Spider Man yet. It's very boring. Yeah, you just he's, walk around. You do your regular everyday it's when shit. He, it's when he's nine. Yeah. So it's like, mom, I want to go play, and then it's like, uh, you have to like have the right smile. You like have to like put the sticks right <laughs> yeah, so you're like, smiling right. Okay, you can go play because yeah. How if can you, I turn out a smile like that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So th that was rumor number one for Spider Man three. Rumor number two is that both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will both be appearing. So it's going to be like a multiverse thing. That's what, yeah. It's going to be, well, when you said it, when I heard yeah. this, I thought it was going to be the sequel to Into the... Oh, Into the Spider-Verse is happening. Yeah. As well. But this is for specifically Tom Holland, Spider-Man 3, uh, and that all of these guys are, again, rumored, like none of it's been confirmed. It's be a big spider rumble. Who well, could be the real Spider-Man? But I think that these are going to be things, although this is, I don't know when this is going to come out in the timeline of everything, but I think that what's happening right now is with the, the stage is being set for all of these different universes and stuff to combine, uh, which actually leads to another rumor is that... Ooh, I like this one. I think I know. I think that okay, go go. 
Okay, well, no, what one do you think? Just say I, like, I the one word. I heard that, like, iron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and holy shit, you read my brain, man. Because, like, there's no reason on earth for you to have known that that's where I was going. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was like, this is the one. Holy shit. But the rumor is my, that... This, r- this is actually not plugged in here. It's plugged into his ass. <laughs> I get direct feeds There's right mo- here. There's multiple cables, <laughs> so you can get you can one's plug his in. One's bum hole, one's his pee hole. Yeah, got covered all the bases. Well, basically, uh, Jim Cameron set this up for us because we wanted something that was just like Avatar, where you can make the connection you, yeah. and stuff. Right? So now we can we can do it via I the USB. I thought maybe like well, you can use it underwater or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, well, who knows? We're we're high up, but you know the floods are coming. And uh, are coming. but yeah, the rumor is that Robert Downey Jr. has been recast into the MCU potentially as a bad guy for uh, but still iron man but like a different universe is iron the man dark iron man and iron man dark yeah who iron knows? man after dark. so it so that could be really interesting and this is where everything opens up because then they were also talking about potentially using chris and then uh, spider-man chris has Evans to again. Fight iron man mm-hmm. the bad one well and what oh, the any reason to just bring robert downey jr back oh my god he's yeah dead well, I'm, I'm dead. Get over it. But I like the idea. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna bring him back, that you got to do something really different. And, and then, then he'll, you know, he'll fight him, and then he'll be, he'll do the Darth Vader, yeah. and he'll turn, and then Tony Stark yeah. will save the day again. No, well, here's what's going on though: is they basically said, um, I, again, kind of like semi off the record, whatever, is what Robert Downey Jr. was to the Infinity Saga, how kind of everything mm-hmm. was like revolving around him. That's Doctor Strange for Secret yeah, Wars. Yeah, Doctor Strange now is... So uh... he's the dude now. So because everything... It, this is his wheelhouse. This whole multiverse. Hulk to come back. Fuck this Professor Hulk nonsense. Who kn- well, they don't even know what's going to happen Fuck. with... They don't know what's going to happen with him at all right now. There's rumors that he is going to be a part of Tatiana Maslany's She-Hulk on Disney+. Plus. Oh, no way. Yeah. That was a cartoon. No. Oh, it's live action. That's live action. And let's give it up to, uh, they cast Ms. Marvel, who's actually a, a, a young brown girl, a Muslim girl. Uh, <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't know if Ms. Marvel was Muslim. I know that she the is. okay. Yeah. I didn't know if the actress was. I knew the actress she's was Muslim, but part. I didn't. <clears throat> yeah. Apparently, in the new Avengers yeah. video game, she's like mm-hmm. the star of it. Yeah. And anyways, though, um, they cast a young woman whose name is escaping me right now, but she is from Markham, Ontario. No way. Yeah, she's a teenage girl from Markham, you Ontario. Know what? Who's <clears throat> now we're talking about the Marvels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am already tired of this. Like, I can't go to the movies and watch a movie now, yeah. so I have to purchase an entire channel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just saw a preview for some wicked movie. I can't yeah. remember what the fuck it was, in it, but it's on. it was, like, only on Amazon Prime, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So I got I to gotta mm-hmm. buy all these goddamn channels. Well, it's the only place right now that you can do that because they're the only people with the money Right. To be like, able to where, purchase where something like that it, for right? distribution, like, but it was still like I, I would have my choice to be like, okay, yeah. I want to see this, I want to see that, you know, yeah. and at least it would go to the theater so I could go see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's gonna. What the fuck was that movie that I just saw on Amazon Prime? Yeah. That's all I remember. Yeah, we're gonna get there again. Amazon. Was that Borat? Because yes. that's because that's coming yes. out. Yes, Borat that's, too. Yes, only that's on coming Amazon. out. I was like, fuck. Yeah, that's coming out. Uh, t- well, as this episode comes out, if you're listening today, if you're watching tomorrow, it comes out. Do, uh, do you have Amazon Prime? I do. Oh my god! And uh, that movie looks so. I love Borat. Do you like the first Borat? I loved Borat. <laughs> it was Every, so and killer. A bunch of celebs have seen it, and like it was like Seth Rogen, a few other people. Seth Rogen said that it, this he's movie has seen it like nine times yeah, or something. And he uh. said that this movie has some of the funniest like scenes in movie history. <laughs> They're like, and then because uh, what some what came out was the one image, which is uh, Rudy Giuliani on his back on a hotel room bed with his hand down his pants, <laughs> and that That's became amazing. And that became a whole thing, and everybody's like, "Oh, Rudy, you're done now." Like, <laughs> like Borat got you. He's Rudy, like, "No, come Rudy." He's like, for "Nothing." He's like, "This is a complete fabrication. That was me tucking in my shirt after uh, like taking off my microphone for the interview. I realized after the fact that this was a trick, and I called the police on them. <laughs> and like, it was like all this kind of stuff. Why was and, he in the room with him while he's like jerking off? Well, that but this was the thing is he's <laughs> he's like, "No, I was never jerking off." Blah blah blah. He's like, "I was just tucking. You know how you lay down on your on a bed and you tuck your shirt back into your pants? Yeah, so you know over, how that's and over, over. over and over and also how his shirt was on." talked while he was doing that um so anyways and the, the best pro, uh, the best thing the lincoln project 
this is the thing. I'm going to give a lot of credit to the Lincoln Project because they are a Republican group, like a Republican PAC. Okay. And they have been the most anti-Trump of anybody. And uh, they were talking. And, like, basically the idea is he's like, yeah, we've been basically for Biden. I'll get Biden, get Biden. And he's like, by November 4th, if they win, it's going to be, we got to get rid of Biden. <laughs> but... <laughs> Well, at least they know. But they're honest about it. Evil first. Yeah, they're they're honest about it though, and um, and they were sitting there, so they responded to Rudy's huge tirade. Rudy, and he's like, "This is just a way to distract against all the things that we've exposed against uh, hun- against uh, Hunter Biden and blah blah blah." And then uh, Lincoln Project just responded, and they're like, "We're gonna see the video, sweetie." Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Tomorrow, yeah. the whole thing's coming out." He uh, said he was worried too. Uh, I don't know where he is. But he said he was worried filming one thing because he was, like, undercover for, like, a couple mm-hmm. weeks or something. Yeah. I don't know if it was, like, a far-right group or something. Well, the whole movie. he said he was worried that they were going to fucking kill him. Yeah. And he's he's a brave dude. Oh, my Actually, God, yes. if you haven't seen, go look up his thing about Facebook. He does a speech. It's not at all funny. It's 100% serious. But he's just talking about social media and, like, um just the shit that they're allowed like because it, like it's a weird thing because you know free speech blah 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 but then it's also like it, people are using these platforms to just spout off yeah, the hate the, speech, the hate speech like and, all this shit. and i was like there's ha- no accountability so exactly everybody just say the most awful so and that's it and so this is what like what he was kind of railing against which was and it was beautiful it was such a good speech and it was just so well done it was like it, it's funny the people who you need to look to for sanity right, right now, right? The guy who wore like a J Lo style like cover up my ball sack you know, you know, bathing you know, you know suit. I got you. This is the only thing that I mm-hmm. paid attention to all week. Yeah. Okay, so a picture of Billie Eilish came out. Oh, of fuck. her just in her regular yeah. clothes. Yeah. And then obviously, right, because the internet is such a wonderful place, everybody's like, she looks like she's got a thirty year old. Like, you know, she yeah. had a couple kids, buddy. And then and yeah. then and then it reverses and people are like, No. Because she's not a size zero, she's a hero. Like she's a warrior. And I'm like, yeah. What? Like, she's just like, a what fucking the person. Fuck? Like so so to not be yeah. a size zero <laughs> is a choice that she made, which was very brave. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck is going on out here? I know. It's just and it gives a fuck. Well, like, and, and what was hilarious was I saw a tweet. Which was about it was, somebody tweeted an article, which was basically Billie Eilish just putting down the body shamers, right? Yeah, and just being like, like, what the fuck? fuck? Like, but like, she's definitely not a hero for not being a size zero. Yeah, she's not a hero either way. This world is just like it's filled with snowflakes. You're just we're never gonna make it. You're just a person. When the Civil yeah. War starts and Trump and they're like, Trump, you're out of office, and he looks right into the camera and goes, "Proud boys, yeah. now." Yeah, which is all the snowflakes are gonna get stomped. No, the the proud boys are the 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 gayest group of people probably right well did you see that thing where um well, Trump, twitter Trump, Trump doesn't even know yeah. they're gonna be he's gonna be proud boys go for it and they're gonna like, and they just start <laughs> right in like, front oh, of them Jesus. they're all they're all just frenching <laughs> and they're like hey, Trump's gonna be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> they start like reaching across and tugging at each other yeah, no but did you s- did you see what uh twitter did with proud boys because when all that was going on like at its heaviest um hashtag proud boys was trending and stuff so the gay community took it over and <laughs> ah, that's so killer it's literally just pictures of like really, really flamboyant like <laughs> queens dancing around and dudes kissing, rainbow gifts and I all sorts the, of the stuff bears. like that. Was there some bears in there? I'm sure there was like some hairy bears. dudes with like leather strap and big old beard. I only, uh, I, I only stayed on the uh, hashtag until I climaxed, so I didn't see everything. <laughs> That's exactly what I, was gonna say. I, I only got six tweet, <laughs> six tweets deep, um, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, no, but it's. Uh, it was just so good, and I, they've done that a few times now. That's not hilarious. not the gay community specifically, but, but just people yeah. in general. Where something really hateful came on, somebody came on and they're like, "We're just taking this shit over. Damn you it. don't you don't get to have this anymore." <laughs> I love and it. I love so, it. So God bless them. I love it. Um, we were talking about Secret Wars rumors and all that stuff. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming. I think that um, the Secret Wars with the Beyonder. I don't know. Is that? I, I don't know. The Beyonder takes them all. Yeah. I, I don't know. They got to get the Fantastic Four in there because in the original story, Doom yep. takes the Beyonder's powers because Doom's the mm-hmm. fucking man. Well, they're coming. Um, actually, speaking of Doom, Doctor Doom, uh, somebody did a. Uh, I don't know if this was a wishful, wishful thinking or if it came from a rumor or something, but somebody Doom. did uh, Brian Cranston as Doctor Doom. 
Boo. Why, why boo Brian Cranston? Oh, Brian Cranston. Sorry, I th- for some reason you said... Gr- I thought John Krasinski. I was like, he's Mr. Fantastic. He can't be fucking... Oh, geez, no, he's going to play... Brian he's playing Cranston. both parts. He's also playing the Human Torch. I <laughs> think that Brian Cranston is a great actor. Yeah. But I don't know if... I My, think he could pull Doom off, but I don't know if he yeah. could pull off him without... I don't know. Because Doom is supposed to be very, very good looking and younger. Yeah. And, and then when he gets his face yeah. fucked up, then he's yeah. like pissed. Well, that was my only thing was, aren't Dr. Doom, I guess, you know, you can do kind of whatever, but I was like, aren't Dr. Doom and Mr. Fantastic like the same age? Like, weren't yes. they? Because they're colleagues, yes. right? Yeah. But I mean, like, I think that's a small thing to get around. Yeah. It's not like he's like a different color. Well, or everybody <laughs> can freak out about or that. Or a woman. Jesus Christ. Or a woman of color. <laughs> Forget oh. about it. It's Tiffany Haddish. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine Tiffany Haddish is Dr. Ma- Doom? <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Oh, <laughs> nobody saw my hand. That kids was the only part the of the dance I was doing things. correctly. Um, Don't kids just say the darndest? <laughs> oh, God. You know what, though? I, I, I actually, I find her very likable. So I do, she's, too. She's, I do, too, actually. Like, I think, I she's think no she's Janelle great. Monet, but I wouldn't kick her out of bed for no, farting. Nobody's no Janelle Monet. I kick everybody out of bed for farting. What about for queefing? Especially, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> fart out, queef in. People fear what they don't understand. So yeah, I, I, I get out of bed when that happens. I'm like, okay, Yo. I'm going, I'm going if to a hotel. It's a Dutch oven when you fart. What is it when you queef? Uh, sauna. <laughs> yeah. Russian sauna. <laughs> that's what that's called. All right. Well, the old Russians. <laughs> well, we just made up a new one. We need. We, we nailed a. that down. Um, <laughs> So anyways, though, I read an article from Screen Rant, and I'm going to go ahead and just say fuck you, Screen Rant, right now. because fuck you, none, Screen Rant. What are we talking about? None of Exactly. Because <laughs> none of this makes any sense to me. The article was Sonic the Hedgehog uh, ends Marvel's uh, 10-year streak of being the highest uh, grossing superhero movie. But Sonic's not a superhero. That's part one. Well, I guess kind of superhero-ish. No, he's a video game character. Yeah. Like, he's he not a... kind of superpowers. Yeah, but he's... Well, no, not really, because those are just what he has. Yeah, like, it's just... But it's... Well, I mean, people could be born with superpowers in the world of superheroes, whatever. But he's a video game... Like, I would equate a superhero movie to either being an adaptation of a current comic or something like that, or like an original story of like somebody like, like following kind of that thing to adapt a video game. Isn't a superhero. He's not a superhero in the video game. So he's not a superhero in the movie. Right. In my eyes. He's just a hedgehog who can run fast. That's thing. One thing two. no Marvel movies came out this year. And that's why. Cause they were scared of Sonic. Yeah. But like, did you see Sonic? Yeah. Uh, not yet. It's good. I really liked yeah, it, actually. I, I want to see it because I really like Ben Schwartz. And, um, Who the fuck is Ben Schwartz? He's, he plays Sonic. But he was John Ralphio in... Um, Ralphio? N- no, in... Uh, Rufio? N- no, stop, because you're going to make me forget. Uh, <laughs> in Parks and Rec. Right. And he's he's in a lot of stuff, but he's great in all of it. Uh, he's also... Um, and you couldn't even tell with the makeup that that was him. I know. <laughs> wow. He did a great job. No, he's really good. But um, but no, I, f- I find him hilarious, and so I would support that. But I also want to see Jim Carrey as Robotnik. And, he's great. And all that kind of stuff. But I was just like, so you're saying that this movie that's not a superhero movie beat a um, a studio that didn't release any movies when does WandaVision come out? Okay. Uh, WandaVision, I don't know because that I... It's th- so interesting. I know. It's... I think it's been pushed back to, like, early next year. Fucking everything's been pushed back, man. This fucking sucks. Well, well the problem was, Just though... put James Bond on CTV for fuck's I know. sakes. But the problem was that these things weren't finished, and then the studios all got shut down. I'm so glad that Tenet bombed. <laughs> so glad. Stop giving yeah. this guy $300 million to make this crap. I know. You you Blech. Blech. you you've been on that soapbox for like nine of these episodes. I know, <laughs> I know, and I'm still fucking right. <laughs> I support it. I support it. Um, what else do we got? Oh, um, in the Snyder Cut news. Oh my god! Which, yeah. Well, it's now Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's not going to be called the Snyder Cut. It's just that's the, its new official title. But uh, in more of news of I'm not making the movie that like it's not i'm recutting the movie 
that existed. I'm just making shit up so I can like pl- please the fanboys Justify and make it seem thirty million. They gave yeah, him. Jared Leto's back as the Joker now. In in the Snyder Cut, in which he is not a part what? of the story in any way, shape, or form, but now he's going to be in this. Oh my god! I don't know if I should watch it or not. I I have to watch it. I know, like I think we've been, we've talked so much shit about it that like we have to see I, it. I, well, I can't. Yeah, it's Ugh. yeah. So, but it's it's going to be a slog. It's going to be like. If you like, if you were sick and depressed and trying to watch The Irishman, it's gonna just be like that the whole time. <laughs> that movie was um, way overrated. But um, well, that's why I mentioned it. But it's just it's nuts to me because it, like I, again, if you want to like reform the movie, and even if you're like, oh, I didn't get to shoot these things because you know I ended up having to leave the project, even though they were fucking editing at the time. Um, why do they feel like they have to give Jared Leto some kind of Joker justice? Like, just leave it. Nobody likes it. Just leave it. It's because DC right now is literally pandering to the fans and only pandering to the fans. They're like, we want this. We want this. Okay, we're going to give you that. Well, we want Batfleck back. Well, he quit, but we want him. Okay, he's going to be in fucking Flashpoint. But Michael G- uh, Michael Keaton's already Batman. He's more more Batman. It's fine. <laughs> uh, all in there. And then even Michael Keaton joked, he's like, all 127 Batman will be in, <laughs> will be in Flashpoint. And then... Uh, and then That's they're like, a good storyline, no flashpoint. Yeah, and then they're like, we want, we want Jared Leto as Joker back. Well, that that ship has already sailed. Ah. We want him. Yeah, okay, like, fuck. And, how, and Suicide Squad's people, not even part of that like thing. And he's like, no, we want it. How okay. many people do you think are going to mm-hmm. come out after the Snyder Cut and be like, mm-hmm. see, this is the one he was envisioned. This is a brilliant movie. Yeah. And it'll be just as shitty as yeah. it ever was. And two of their producers are now off the project, too. So that's, oh, that's a curious little thing. Although I have a feeling, because they were they were involved with the original thing, so I have a feeling they're removing people. If I uh, like to see, like, look, we're, we're getting all ready. They, of this, they, uh, this better not be like Zack Snyder coming back into the fold. Like, do your movie and fuck off. Yeah. Because, like, he... <clears throat> those are terrible. All of them. Yeah. Like, don't now because the fans are like, we like Snyder all of a sudden. It's like, okay, we'll bring him back yeah. to continue ruining this all these amazing characters. But you can't say, but you can't convince them of that because they were like, every one of them was great. Man of Steel was like the best Superman movie there was. No, it wasn't. Terrible, uh, terrible. Henry movie. Cavill? A good Superman. I agree. He got the shaft. He got the shaft. Well, he's back, too. Uh, but, like, he he was a good Superman. He had the look. He had the body. He had, like, well, I guess the body would be part of the look. Uh, and he and he's not a bad actor. So, I like, like him. So that all worked. What didn't work was they didn't write super. Like, they wrote, like, so he's like, Superman has to be darker. Superman's not dark. Yeah, I know. I hate that. Like, if you did the death of Superman, that's a dark story in the Superman They did it all in, like, thing, one movie, but, too. Yeah. They had, like, everything. He dies, he comes back, there's doomsday. Yeah. He, I was like, holy fuck, man, there's and, way too much happening in this thing. And that was the thing. And then you've got, um, yeah, and then Batman. Versus, like, it, anyways, we've we've gone down this road too many times for me. Are, to- are they, when I look up the Marvel yeah. release dates, mm-hmm. Black Panther 2 is still there. Have they already filmed Black Panther 2? No. No, it's, it's still on the release date. It's still there. It's still there. I think it'll probably end up getting pushed a little bit because everything did. I think everything's going to get shifted down. But they're I there. hope that they don't get rid of Black Panther because Buddy died. No, well, the we character talk- is still there. We talked about this. It's yeah. like they're going. Um, it's Shuri, the sister, is going to be the new Black Panther. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then, um, but then there's also rumors that she's also now too many chicks on the team. Yeah. What? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, they were also talking about how she might be like trying, to, like in the new thing, she might be trying to develop a new version of Super Soldier, and that might be where the new bad guy comes from, or something uh, like that. Because she's she's like, we need to protect Wakanda, like, and not cost all of Wakanda's lives. Like, so she's like, there's nobody more qualified than me to do this kind of thing. I so I don't if, know how that balance is going to, uh, that balance is going to fall What right about now? if somehow mm-hmm. Killinger comes back and becomes the new Black Panther? Killmonger? Good. Yeah. Well, as they've already said, said, that Shuri's going to be the Black Panther. You said Killinger. Oh. 
Uh, that's a swerve, bro. They're yeah. swerving you. That's like Schillinger from uh, Oz yeah. become, becomes Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. That's a twist because he's a Nazi. Uh, exactly. <laughs> but uh, It'd be like American History X where he turns yeah. it all around. He's like, Adebisi changed my mind. I'm Black Panther now. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Fucking um, right, Wakanda forever. But he let me just cover up these tattoos so we're all cool. Uh, <laughs> what if like in the middle of the yeah. swastika is like the Black Panther fist? Boom. <laughs> Maybe crossover appeal, baby. Crossover appeal. <laughs> if you're a not, if you're a Nazi, you're gonna love this all black cast. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Disney Plus announced a uh, sequel series to the movie Willow. Mm. So Willow, the series is coming out. Uh, John Chu, who did uh, who was a Crazy Rich Asians yes. and stuff, is going to be directing. No way. This and uh, Warwick he's, Davis is back. He's gotten the seal of approval from, uh, from Ron little, Howard and all them. What and, about did he get the seal of approval from the Little People Guild? Well, if uh, if uh, Warwick Davis is there, he's like their leader. So. He is absolutely. Their well, he actually like legitimately. He started like an agency for LPs in the nice. UK, and that was. Um, oh yeah, he's a Brit. He is a Brit, and so like he like that's literally what he does when he's not in a movie, he's helping other ones get in He movies. should, you know what, if he was at a fucking Comic-Con, I would spend the money to have his autograph. Of course I would. That man has been in so many killer movies. Uh-huh. He's been a part of everything. We have talked, um, not at length, but just on and off about doing a potential 24-hour stream. Oh, Lord. And so we, uh, we, you, we have, this isn't a surprise to you. We've oh had this discussion. God, this is the first time you brought it to me. <laughs> and we've talked about what, like maybe doing a series of movies like and stuff like ones. that. And we were ah. talking about maybe doing canon movies. Ah. We were talking about maybe doing the Leprechaun series oh or something God. like that. Oh, my God, the come to do no good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's, a, you know, mm-hmm. it's all up in the air. Mwah. If you have... A little iced tea in it too with this big afro. Oh god! It's like this uh, iced tea, who's the only acceptable ice based rapper uh, now because he's the only one who's not voting for Trump. He's the only one who hasn't melted under the Although heat. Although Ice Cube totally caved on all that. He came out and he's like, "I'm going to support Trump because he's he has something he's been working on." And Biden, he went to like Biden's party and he's like, "Look, we'll definitely we'll, we'll talk to you, and we'll." Um, and we'll take this like super seriously after the election. He's like, right now our focus is on beating Trump. Right. And then they went to Trump and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. We'll do anything you want. And then he's like, oh, they're, these guys are going to get it done for me. So he's like, I'm voting for get Trump. Get done. I can't remember what the thing is. It's, uh, it's, it's this Why thing. Why you ever believe Donald Trump? And that's like, what I'm saying. Fuck like. Of course he said, like, like if somebody went and he's like, I'll vote for you, but I really need the cure for AIDS. He's like, day one, we'll have the cure for AIDS. <laughs> exactly. Like they've already Great. said, they've already said reelect me and we'll have, and we'll get a plan in place for COVID. Well, that fucking ship has sailed. And yeah. why no? Because I got a Re- sailor right next re-elect to me. Reelect me. Yeah. Reelect me. And we'll then I'll do the job this. I didn't do the first time. So. Again, again. So that's why ice. That's why Ice T is the only acceptable ice base rapper now. Deal. And uh, what else? Ice Although melts he, when the tea gets hot. Yes. Uh, what's it called? Fear of a black hat. I've reached <laughs> out. Fuck yeah. I've reached out more than once to Rusty Cundiff on Twitter. Movie. I'm trying to get him so we can interview him to do that movie. I want. I want to do that movie, but I want to talk to somebody from it. <laughs> and I don't know how to get to Larry K. Brown because he's not on Twitter. Don't shoot until you see the white of, of their, their eyes. Of their eyes? <laughs> Whose eyes? <laughs> that, that's the best. That movie, if you haven't seen it, go watch that goddamn movie. It's so funny. Uh, it's it wicked. It's very Spinal Tap, but it's very funny. Yes. Um, okay, well, I think that's all we got for I agree. news. Uh, but we got to tell you what we're doing next week. And I, we're just going to say it. I'll edit it into the podcast because I don't have any of it handy. Uh, but next week, we are doing our Halloween episode. Yeah. It's, so it's gonna we're going to release it on Halloween. So it's going to be on the Saturday instead of the Friday. Um, it's, Todd's doing that. And uh, we've been doing the Halloween movies. So it only makes sense that we do the next one. We're out of Halloween 3. So we've jumped that. We, you know, that shark is mm-hmm. jumped. Uh, but... I saw something where a guy jumped a shark, and it was the best one. Um, I'm spitting. I apologize. Uh, Isn't that so happy days that that came from. Yes. Well, after he jumped, literally jumped a shark on his yeah. motorcycle or something. No, on a, he on skis because oh, you know how the Lord. fonts also skis. 
He's and it was talking about skiing. And it was like a green screen kind of thing where it's just him doing like this. <laughs> and then like that. looking, and he's like, hey. And then he's like, <laughs> and even like in the yeah. air, it shows him. He's just yeah. like, hey. So, but it, it's, it's literally just shots of that. And then it would be like a shot, like a down shot of a shark swimming in a circle. You know how sharks stay in one spot so you can jump exactly, over them? Yeah. Uh, so. He's anyway, waiting for him to fall into so he'd eat his ass. Anyways, maybe that's an education to somebody who doesn't know uh, where that term, term came from. Jump the shark. Uh, but anyways, I digress. We are doing Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Janie, Jamie's uncle's the boogeyman. You're going to find out all about it. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, here's the trailer. Ten years ago, on the night of October 31st, a small Midwestern town fell victim to an escaped killer. Under the cover of darkness, he carried out the most horrifying mass murder on record. Sixteen people in cold blood. Ever since that night, no one has forgotten his name. And Halloween has never been the same. Now, Michael Myers has come home. He has returned for one more night of unholy terror. Michael! Somebody help me! He's here to kill that little girl and anybody who gets in his way. Oh, God! Who's gonna be next? Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. Maybe nobody knows how to stop him. All right, guys. You need to watch the movie now. That was amazing. (laughs) All right, so that is what we're doing next week, guys, and I'm (laughs) very excited. Donald Pleasance again. (laughs) He's evil. (laughs) You don't understand. Oh, 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 why did I do it? I started. He stopped being. He stopped being a British doctor and started being like a like a uh, like a gas line maintenance yeah. guy from Queens. <laughs> you guys don't understand. They like replace him mid movie. Nobody noticed. <laughs> Michael Myers is evil. You get, you get it. This is again scar tissue. You should play Doctor Loomis in the next one. Yeah. I actually thought this is kind of one thing where they just misused just because they dropped the ball on the movies themselves. I thought that um, oh, his name is escaping me now. Donald Pleasance. No, no, from the Jimmy Lee Curtis. Stop. <laughs> every time I'm like, I'm trying to think of a name. I'm going to spit out every name so it's impossible for you to think. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, from uh, the Rob Zombie Halloween, the guy who played Loomis. Was in, is it, it wasn't like Clockwork Orange. He was oh, in Clockwork Orange. McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. He was a decent choice. I think so too. And I think because he's a good actor, he has that right kind of. He can say he's evil, and you get it. Um, they but, should do in the newest mm-hmm. one whenever yeah. they're going to be like. I don't know if they're coming out with a third yeah. after Halloween Kills or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. It should be Loomis that takes him down. Yeah. Like, he's just unstoppable, and all of a sudden, yeah. Loomis, you know what I mean, grabs him and pulls him into the flames. Yeah. See, that's the one thing that's a bummer, too, is because, like, that, they went into, like, this being, like, the sequel to whatever, so, and they killed Loomis, so there is no Loomis anymore. Well, because in the yeah. new ones, they only yeah. did the first one. Yes. And then everything else didn't, mm-hmm. well, didn't, like, happen. Yeah. Until way you le- I think they should have went after the second one. Well, I... Yeah, they should have. I think they just wanted to erase him, be her being the sister, because I don't think she's the sister anymore, right? I think you're right. So I think that's I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right, though. But anyways, I do. I miss that presence of a Loomis, but at the same time, I think they're like, no, Jamie Lee Curtis doesn't need anybody because she's essentially Jamie Lee Curtis is now fucking um, yes. No, but she's Sarah Connor now, yes. right? She's like a doomsday prepper of sorts and whatever. Um, I love that scene in the movie where, where they. You think they're hiding down in the basement where it's a trap. Yeah. They trap his ass. And then they have uh, 
you know, like tar with a nail sticking through it, and then an iron comes and hits him in the face. By the way, I haven't even shown you this yet. Door handles heated up. Yeah, I haven't shown you this yet, but uh, make sure to go check out our Home Alone based uh, t-shirt on tpublic.com. Sweet. It's fantastic. I'm very proud of it. Um, but yeah, that's available. For that's what they always say. They're like, this is our best album ever. And then you're like, yeah. this album sucks. I didn't say this was our best. I just said it's good. Well, that's like what it. they all say. Okay. It uh, probably is, though. Believe them. <laughs> At least go check it out and yeah, decide for yourself. Yeah, I want to check it. Check all it right. Too. Next week, Halloween 4. This week, done with this episode. All right, catch us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast at uh, JK Finley at Miscast Todd. Find us at miscastcommentary.com. Make sure to go and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this already, fucking do it. But if you um, haven't done so yet as well, go to our new RSS feed for Binge Watchers on the Wall and subscribe to that. That is up and running now as well. Uh, and you can find those on our YouTube page as well. Uh, Facebook, all the things. Just all find us. Google us. This is the nice thing about, I. Th- this is how I know we picked a good uh, title for the show. When you Google Miscast Commentary, we're the only option for like pages oh, and pages. It's just like, hey, Miscast Commentary, <laughs> podcast stuff. Here's the website. Here's like um, Joe's LinkedIn. Here's like, a, like all this kind of shit, right? So all that good stuff. I'm so, glad we went with that name and not the one I picked, which was Poo Poo Doo Doo Dink. Well, it, there which, would have been so many things that came up before ours. Yeah, I know. Way too many. <laughs> <laughs> and which is weird because it's stuff that we produced before doing this. Exactly. We're like, whoa, there's it's, all that scat porn we did. Yeah, we have. Uh, <laughs> it's like poo poo, doo doo, and then it's, and then it goes whoop, dink. <laughs> it, just, it fell into the shot. It wasn't supposed to be there, but Todd's hung. That's right. Um. So that's that's just my wingmanning for you to help you to help you with the ladies You're right now. Moose cock for nothing. We do. It's like a moose knuckle yeah. more than anything. Mm-hmm. No, we that's just, what you call a camel toe in Canada, he, moose knuckle. That's right. The, the education doesn't stop <laughs> in this right? friggin' episode. All right, guys, we will see you next week. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.